Would anyone like to try to read this? It's Greek to me. How about this one? It seems easy to me. Saba kunei ini nyo Kristo vahihe e teso ora tungu. E tungu kuniso ora kui tungu wa a Kristo. Now try this. Of course you can read it. It's your language. Most of you anyway. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. That's what it's all about. People hearing God's word in their own language. You can study a language for years. But if you grew up speaking English, English will remain the language that will speak most to your heart. What language do they speak in Mexico? Spanish, right? Mexico is the home of 20 major language families that are totally unrelated to Spanish, the national language. These languages were in use long before the Europeans came. Each language family has many distinct variations, making a total of nearly 300 separate language variants. Variants in language families are quite common, such as the Romance language family, which includes Italian, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and many lesser-known variants. Three Tepewa language variants are spoken today in northeastern Mexico. They are part of the Totonacan language family. Translation of the New Testament has been completed in the Huehuetla and Tlachichilco Tepewa languages. A translation program is underway in the third Tepewa language, Pisaflores Tepewa. Each Mexican language has an intricate grammar and beautiful ways of expressing ideas. Until recently, most of these languages had not been described nor written. The multiplicity of languages creates challenges in communication. It can isolate speakers from the mainstream of society and hinder them from taking advantage of many opportunities. The Summer Institute of Linguistics, SIL, attempts to bridge this gap by studying the indigenous languages and preparing written materials in them. Members of Wycliffe Bible Translators that work in Mexico are seconded to SIL, Wycliffe's sister organization. SIL is an international nonprofit organization that works in languages of more than 70 countries of the world. Personnel come from over 60 countries. In Mexico, SIL is known as ILB, El Instituto Linguístico de Verano. SIL in Mexico has prepared nearly 60 practical grammars and dictionaries that benefit the mother tongue speakers as well as the academic world. Hundreds of technical works have been published in the distinct variants and others are underway. SIL in Mexico also helps to promote literacy in vernacular languages. In addition to government training, bilingual school teachers and other speakers of the languages take advantage of frequent courses offered by SIL to enable participants to prepare materials and teach in their own languages. New Testaments have been published in nearly 110 Mexican language variants. Scripture portions from the Old Testament have been published as well as some complete Bibles. Spanish is the language of wider communication across Mexico. Although the majority of indigenous people of Mexico speak a little Spanish, they are much more able to understand the scriptures in their own languages. SIL currently maintains facilities in Mexico City and Oaxaca City. A training center in Mitla, Oaxaca provides a place for SIL personnel and native speakers of indigenous languages to participate in courses in linguistics, literacy, and translation. In the early 1980s, an administrative center was built near Tucson, Arizona. It provides computer resources and support. Grammars, dictionaries, and New Testaments are prepared for publication there. 
SIL teams are currently involved in 88 different language programs. Work is planned in at least 13 more languages.